One, we're, um, I know everybody's eager to hear you play, and you've got two remarkable musical configurations uh, coming up, but you got to give them just a touch of, of Don Rickles. You, you wind up working, I mean, you're the only person alive who's worked with Shania, Johnny Cash, you 2 Waylon Jennings, and, and Don Rickles. Um, it, what in the world was that all about? Well, they called me up, and uh, they said, we're going to do this attraction. It's going to be Pixar. It'll be in California Adventure and also Disney World in, in Orlando, and it's going to be called Midway Mania, and it's about all the things that, all the toys that were in Andy's uh, room. So Ranger Doug and Too Slim and I, I asked Woody, but Woody never gave me an answer, so he didn't write any songs. He, he, but Ranger Doug, Too Slim and I ended up writing a number of songs and then recording them in a Dixieland version for uh, Mr. Potato Head. It's a life-size animatronic Mr. Potato Head. When you're in the queue to go into Midway Mania, sometimes, you know, in Disneyland, it'll take you an hour to get through the queue to get to the ride. So the thing was to have Mr. Potato Head sing a song every, every so many minutes. And also, there's, we recorded Don saying things like, um, hey, you in the red sweater. There's always somebody in a red sweater. Or something. Where are you from? And the guy would say, I'm from Ohio. And then the guy would press another button. I've been there. I hate it. You know, <laughs> things like that. So, so he could communicate with the crowd. And, and the, the eyes of Mr. Potato Head were not only uh, television screens, so the eyes could move, but they were cameras too. And so he could see the crowd. The, the operator could. So we did uh, six or eight songs uh, that we wrote, and they're still used today. They're used in, uh, in California Adventure, and they're doing a brand new big uh, uh, Midway Mania, and uh, then also in uh, Orlando. So Don, of course, was the voice of Mr. Potato Head. So we wrote the songs, created the demos, and Slim sang on the demos, trying to do his best, you know, kind of Jimmy Durante, Don Rickles delivery, and we sent them. And so on that first session, they said, Joe, you better come to, to be at the first session to see how it's going. So I got there at the first session, and this is how they all went with Don. You'd, I'd get there on a Monday, Monday evening, i go there Tuesday morning, I'd be in the studio about 10 o'clock, Don Rickles would come in at about 11, sit down and hold court for about an hour, then he'd order lunch, <laughs> and after lunch, then, you know, he'd talk for another half hour, which was great, and then we'd go in the studio, so, okay, I'm all set. I said, Don, what would you like to start with? He said, I don't know any of them. I went, wait a minute, what do you mean you don't know any of them? He said, I couldn't get it, I couldn't get it, I just couldn't get it, you know. So, okay, I said, we'll try anyway. So he tried, and it was just not working. So in the meantime, during that first day, I told him about myself, and I had done the Johnny Carson show, and I had done this and that, and always was a fan of his. Even we, I had seen him perform back in the early years of Vegas in Lake Tahoe and, and always loved him. And, you know, it was kind of a, a, the chemistry was right between the two of us. So I, I said, come on with me. Let's get a cup of coffee. So we went to the coffee room, and uh, I said, look, can you do this? Can you, if I go, midway mania, I said, you try it. He goes, midway mania. I said, that's the ticket. I said, we're going to do it line by line. And we did. And because of that, it took us almost a year and a half to get this thing done. But, but can you imagine all the stories that we heard in that year and a half? It was amazing. And, and, and he, till the day he passed, was as sharp as a tack. And so, so great. What a, what a great, great man, as well as a great comedian. Yeah, give him a big hand. He, he, he gave me a copy of his book, it says, and he said, Joey, I couldn't have done it without you, you hockey puck. <laughs> Don Rickles.